What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video. And it's been a few days now, but I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the news that came out this past week when EA Sports revealed a big chunk of the roster for their upcoming game, EA UFC. Now, everything was pretty much as expected in that video. Um, there wasn't really anything super surprising until the very end. And practically nobody saw this coming, but they revealed that the martial arts legend, Bruce Lee, is going to be a playable character on release day, which is June 17th. Now, according to reports, you're going to automatically get Bruce Lee if you pre-order the game. And if you don't pre-order it, he's still available to be unlocked by finishing the career mode on pro difficulty, which I'm assuming is going to be the second easiest difficulty like it is on Madden and some of the other EA Sports titles. And then we also found out that Bruce Lee is going to be available to compete in the bantamweight, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight divisions. And that alone puts him in elite company as the only other fighter that has ever competed in four different weight classes in the UFC is Kenny Florian. Now, when this news broke, the MMA world, of course, went kind of crazy. Most people were pretty excited because Bruce Lee's that, you know, like I said, he's the biggest legend ever, I think, in martial arts. And, you know, people were pretty excited to be able to play with him. But of course, as there always are, there were plenty of haters. And they wanted to know why the UFC would put a guy in their game who has never fought in a UFC cage. Fair question, I suppose. But for those of you who aren't disgusted enough to cancel your pre-order, as I know some people did, you're probably with me in wondering what Bruce's attributes are going to be like. And I wish that I had some sort of breaking news or something that I could give you, but all I can really do right now is speculate like the rest of you. And I think that the most obvious thing is that he's going to easily have the best striking in the game. He should, anyway. I mean, it should be hands down. It shouldn't even be a contest, really. I mean, no one is even in the same breath as Bruce Lee when it comes to striking. But what about everything else? I think a lot of people are kind of jumping to Bruce's defense on Twitter and some of the other various social media. And they're saying that he would have been good at everything if he was still training today. Or if he had just started training today, I guess I should say. And, you know, that's a very valid argument. If Bruce was training today, I don't see any reason with his determination and his fight intelligence and just his raw physical nasty talent. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be an amazing all-around fighter. But we can't make attributes based on potential in video games. And you know what, if we're being completely honest, Bruce Lee was pretty much a stand-up specialist. And guys with martial arts backgrounds, please don't come at me and say that Bruce Lee was, you know, good at everything. Guys, it was a completely different world back then. And Bruce Lee, like I said, he's known for his stand-up, right? So there's not anything wrong with that. But saying that his jiu-jitsu and his wrestling should be high rated just because it's Bruce Lee is like saying that Hoist Gracie's stand-up should be high. I mean, you could make an argument that if Hoist was young and he was just starting training today, that he'd be a completely different fighter than he was in the early 90s. But that's not reality. That's just pure speculation. And the reality for Bruce Lee is that he's probably going to be an incredible stand-up fighter in this game. But he's also probably going to be pretty mediocre in the other aspects of the sport. Now, even though he's probably going to be pretty much one-dimensional, I still think there's a good chance that the one dimension that he has is going to be good enough to make him a worthwhile fighter to use in this game, especially if you consider the fact that he's going to be going up against guys that are in the smaller weight classes, and usually the guys that are at bantamweight and featherweight and, you know, even welterweight and lightweight, a lot of those guys don't really possess knockout power. And clearly Bruce Lee is going to have insane knockout power, unless this game is just completely ridiculous. So. Guys like Hoist Gracie dominated the early days of the UFC by essentially just using one martial art. So it can be done. And in fact, if you played the previous UFC games made by THQ, you know that there were some pretty cheesy ways to win fights without even utilizing the fighter's full arsenal of attacks. You really didn't even need well-rounded fighters if you knew how to cheese. But EA isn't THQ. And although they deserve a lot of the criticism that they get as a company, they did make Fight Night. And that's one of the best fighting games ever made. 
It really encompassed all of the different aspects of boxing that makes each style unique and effective. And I don't see any reason why they can't do the same type of thing with the UFC. And while that's great for guys like Jose Aldo and Chris Weidman who are really well-rounded, it makes me a little bit worried about using someone like Bruce Lee. And I, I have a feeling that there are going to be a lot of frustrated people who want to keep every fight standing and use Bruce Lee to just brutalize people on the feet. But they're going to be in for a rude awakening when they get taken down and smothered by a wrestler. You know, at the end of the day, I understand why people are frustrated that Bruce Lee is even in this game. But when it comes right down to it, guys, this is still a video game. And it's supposed to be fun. They're not giving us Freddy Krueger for crying out loud. They're giving us perhaps the most legendary martial artist in the history of the world. So I say just have fun with it. If you don't want to use Bruce Lee, then don't. And if someone picks him against you online and you're mad about it, take him down, punch his face, and tap him out. So how do you guys feel about this? How do you feel about Bruce Lee being added to the UFC roster? Let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say about it. And be sure to subscribe and check back here for more UFC content in the coming weeks as more information continues to get released. I'm going to be trying to cover as much of it as I can along with my Madden content and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, guys, I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.